internet what's happening I'm Steve from graphicdesignertips.com and in today's video tutorial we're gonna speak about the program Adobe Muse which is a website design program and we're gonna work with site structure today and basically I'm gonna show you how to add pages and create master pages on your website now the website on your screen is a website I have designed for a client of mine uh, using these elements of adding pages and master pages and um, basically um, the way that it was always done in the past was if you had a website and say it was 10 pages you know some pages uh, like for instance this home page where you see the banner fading if you look on the screen the banners fading there's three different banners and you're not gonna want this banner on every single page so basically for this home page um, you'd probably want to create a master page uh, just with a banner on it um, the next master page you'd want to make is, like I said, 10 pages on your site. Some of the pages might have a sidebar, like on this site. On the right side, going down the right, is a sidebar navigation with the, there's icons on it where you click on the icons and they take you to different parts of the website. Now, that's a good master page for you know certain pages you want to have a sidebar. Now, the other master page you could have is a page that doesn't have any sidebar it's a full width page and say your site is about a thousand pixels wide which is a normal website width um, you might want something you know a big photo or a big special or, or maybe a, a photo gallery or something and you don't want the sidebar you would set that up as a separate master page now when it, I used to do work in Dreamweaver it was a big hassle uh, because uh, we had to create include pages and basically you had to say where the includes were and sometimes the code would get messed up and it would screw up your whole entire site but muse is a revolutionary program it's more like a site builder but it's you know it's a professional site builder and it's through adobe and it just integrates with every other adobe program perfectly so with the site on the screen if we go up to the top the top navigation and we start to roll over it you're going to see drop downs and specifically when we come over here to services, we're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine drop downs. Now, if we were to do this in another website program such as Dreamweaver or even WordPress I dabbled in for a few years, and you start to do this stuff, it takes up it does take up a lot of time. And then you gotta add the pages, you gotta add the meta information to each page. Um, and you got to find the pages. It takes time, you know, loading pages and stuff like that. Through Adobe Muse, I'm going to show you right now on how to add pages and meta information and master pages very, very simply. So right now, we're in the preview area. We're going to come up to the plan area, and basically, this is the blueprint for our entire site. Uh, it's showing the site structure. It's showing the the top level pages all the way at the top they are called the parent pages now the pages below them if you want to take a guess on what they are they're actually child pages so or you know sub pages of the parent page so basically on your navigation when you roll over a parent page it is going to drop down into a child page that is attached to that um, through Adobe Muse you can there's certain things you can do to hide a child page Say you want the say the um, you know you have an article but you're not ready to really publish it. You can have it there hidden if you want, but that's not really what the, this tutorial is. I'm just also letting you know that can be done. But this is showing all the top level and sub level pages. So if we come up to that page which we saw before, our services, I think there were eight drop downs on it. These are all the drop down pages. Okay, so if we wanted to add a ninth page. Uh, we're going to come all the way over here to the end um, or you know it actually you can click on any of the thumbnails and you could say we wanted to add a page right between these two in the order we would click the plus button right here it says click to insert a page to the right and just like that we're adding a page to our site uh, we're going to name this page page you know or test test page whatever and um, that page we can actually click and drag and we can move it wherever we'd like so say we don't like where it was we can switch the order of it just like that and the next thing I want to show you is master pages now if you look on the bottom you're gonna see masters and you're gonna see three masters you're gonna see a master B master and C master um, you can name these whatever you'd like 
but I decided to you know name them A, B, and C just to make it easier. Uh, just kind of I kind of knew the order I was making them in. A master page is if you look at these three master pages, the first one has, like I said earlier, it has that fading banner. The second one has a sidebar, and the second one is, and the third one is a full width page. Now, let's say up here, and you can see through this little preview, all these pages around it, they all have a sidebar on it. Now, say this page called page test that we made, I don't really want that sidebar on it. I want it to be a full width page. All you're going to do is you're going to right click. You're going to come to the bottom and select which master is the appropriate master that you want to be on that. So we're going to click C Master, and it changes just like that. So uh, I really don't have to get into that too much more. It's pretty self-explanatory. But master pages, you can have as many as you like. Um, regular pages, you can have as many as you like. It's really a great process. Uh, when we added a page to the right before, you can also add a page below it which is going to create a sub page and um, that's really it on how to create pages and master pages um, the only other thing I can show you is if you right click on any of these pages and you go to page properties you should be able to add your meta information right from here so you can add your description your keywords um, in your header area is where you're going to add your Google Analytics to each page and your page title so like I said this is all self-explanatory stuff if you have any questions on this uh, comment I know Adobe Muse is a fairly new program within the last year so I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and uh, that's it on on pages and, and masters have a good night